Hello again, folks. I am Fonz, and this is Real Kakura. And we're going to try another puzzle. Um, actually, before I get into this, I realized on that last puzzle, I advanced pretty early due to a mistake that I made. And I got really lucky in solving it. So, thank God luck was on my side on that one. But I probably shouldn't have solved it that early. Um, although it didn't seem to be that bad of a puzzle regardless, so I probably would have gotten there anyway. Just maybe might have had to bang my head into the wall a couple extra times. Um, Beginning of this puzzle is pretty straightforward so far. Not every um, extreme level puzzle gives you this much leeway going into it. Some of them make you fight for every single piece of information. It gets pretty stressful. Um, luckily, this one and the last one actually did not really seem to be that bad. Even though the last one... Uh, yeah, stuff happened. Luck happened. Alright, um, well, it can't be that. It can only be this. Because my brain doesn't want to do math. Alright. So we can have it 8 and 6. Um, and that's also 29 over. So it's the same situation that we had in the last one. This one um, is much, very similar, of course. That's the lowest number that you can have um, for seven squares. <clears throat> so anyway, that leaves a one, five, six, and eight. Uh, for 13, so for nine... We can have an 8, a 6, and a 4, which we can't have the 4, so we can't have a 5 here, which means that that one's got to be a 5 and a 6. Luckily, this puzzle was very friendly. Because this is, uh, definitely not as bad as it could be. So there we have a 12, and that could either be a 13 or a 14. So 13 or 14. Leave that. Oh, you know what? Actually, um, something we could have done much, much earlier on, if I would have been paying any small amount of attention. Um, Alright, so these two can only add up to an 8. Because, you know, I guess there's a few ways to figure it out. You can math... Matt, or you can just, I guess, piece in, you know, that you'd have, let's say, a 5, a 1, a 2, and a 3. Uh, which would make that an 8. Or a 4, a 2, or a 1, a, a 2, and a 4. And then you can tell that, of course, 4 can't go in there, so that eliminates that and gives gives that gives away what the answer is for that. You could do that that way, or you could uh, 
also just look at um, uh, 5 plus 6 and then minus 3 gives you an 8 for this. Um, or, of course, just after learning the patterns of it all, after seeing it so many times, you really don't have to do either one of those two. You can just kind of look at this and tell, uh, based on the relationship of the numbers, that it's probably going to be a 3 and a 5 or a 4 and a 4. Uh, so either way, 4 and a 4 can't go there, so we have a 3 and a 5. Which is going to piece a lot of this together.